trying to make sure y'all can see. Listen, well, I'm a newbie, okay? <laughs> Give me a break. Welcome back to Life Journal with Miss GCH. This is your first time. I just want to say double welcome. Uh, go ahead and click the subscribe button down below. I actually have a treat for you guys today. If you follow me on Instagram at Miss underscore GCH, I actually put a poll on my story just asking people like, is hair tutorials or like information about what I do with my hair even relevant for you guys? Like, do you actually want to see that? I feel like there's so many natural hair gurus famous folk that get paid to do this on YouTube that I'm like, nobody really cares about what I do with my hair. But I actually got so much response and people let me know of all the things that they want to see me do with my hair. And actually my nighttime routine and morning routine was one of the responses. And so why not, of course, choose today with a fresh wash and go to show you guys what I do at nighttime and in the morning to refresh my curls. I'm gonna show you me in my scarf, <laughs> me looking real average, about to go to bed. <laughs> so, we're filthy family after this. So for this nighttime part, all you'll need is two things, two things, that's all you need. A scarf of some kind, I suggest a long one this way. You can definitely do the ones that are like, you know, big scarf and you fold it up, but this is what I have and this is what I use and it gets the job also, an extra large, super ridiculous bonnet. It looks crazy, but you'll thank me later. Now granted, if you don't have a whole lot of curls, you could use a smaller bonnet, but I just think honestly using a bigger one is better anyway because sometimes a smaller bonnet can kind of press down on your hair and leave you with this like matted situation that you don't wanna have to deal with because basically it ruins your, your hair style. So I would just say, no matter your hair length, use a big bonnet scarf and let's get started. So what's about to go down is I'm going to bend over in half like this literally and shake all of my hair, shake, 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 until it all just naturally falls all pointing downward. So I don't stroke it to do that or kind of press it. I let it fall how it's naturally going to fall in the morning when you take it down, it won't kind of look really forced or have super flat sides or something because you forced it to do something you didn't do in the first place. One of my many tips, listen, your hair speaks to you. I'm going to place this up here and tie it around the edges because this, I know y'all say secure the bag, but secure the edges because if not, the edges will escape you. They will run away. You feel me? And then you just be skip ball on the edges. And we don't want that for anyone. Don't try to put it way back up here. Just straight across the back and the edges, okay? And then I'm gonna tie it like so and pull it gently onto my head, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and do this and show you exactly what I need. So here you'll see that I'm actually having a little bit of difficulty getting all of my hair to go down, mainly because of this awkward position I'm in trying to keep my head in the camera and I'm just too tall for all this. So I did gently apply some pressure to my hair just to get it to lay up a little bit, just enough to put the scarf on. Maintaining that scarf around the edges you see I'm doing there, making my gentle knot in the front and sliding up the back. And I'm actually about to describe it and explain it one more time for you guys in this next clip. So I don't know if you could catch all of what I was doing, but basically I set it on there, gently tied my knot, like I said, and kind of pulled it very gently. See how I do it like that? So then what I do from here is just inch the edges up all the way around. And then pull this pretty tight. And pull it around the back. and all this will be mashed and disgusting in the morning. So, what I'm gonna do is take the edges of this all the way around and kind of just unravel them and pull them forward. Try 
try to make sure y'all can see. Well, it's not my newbie, okay? <laughs> Give me a break. Um, <laughs> so I'm gonna pull it up like, like so. So now you see it's all really just in the center. So I can sleep on this side and sleep on this side without too many issues. Again, sis, secure the edges. Okay. <laughs> You want to make sure that this is not going to slide up off your edges. Uh, it is protected. I don't worry too much about this little stuff back here because it's going to slide out anyway. I mean, if you care that much, you can, you know, spend extra time to make sure all this under there, and you can sleep like a like a princess to make sure it stays that way. I'm not going to worry about it. So if you're not going to bed right away, I would say I would clean this, y'all. This, <laughs> this is me on a daily basis. If you're not going to bed right away, I would suggest leaving it just like this, open and free. Don't put the bonnet on until right before you're about to get in the bed, okay? So I'm going to tackle a few things real quick that I need to do before I get in the bed. And then I'll show you guys, throw the bonnet on, and hop in the bed. gonna go ahead and slide that bonnet off the top to check the curls looks like they're pretty good we don't have to probably refresh very much so we're happy about that um, we're gonna go ahead and slide the scarf off now and just gently and lightly very gently just kind of pull the hair down here I'm just separating the part you know some of those curls they like to couple up I guess overnight now we're gonna shake our hair this looks really obnoxious because it's sped up. I promise I'm not giving myself a concussion, but <laughs> we're just shaking out the hair and gently, guys, when I say gently, I mean gently. Do not go raking through your hair with your fingers. We're just kind of picking the curls apart like we're doing here. We're actually kind of like taking down a protective style like banty knots or something. You grab the hair, extend it, and find the gap and just um, slide your finger through it so you're um ensuring that there's no frizz or anything like that when you're doing it this way um it just helps your style and your curls maintain i'm actually really happy with the style and the way it looks but we're not going to stop there um we always want to make sure that we slick down our edges well i prefer the slick down edges look and i love eco styler gel that was my eco styler happy dance that's about how much eco styler i'm going to use don't put it on your forehead like me, it goes on your hair. <laughs> but I'm just smoothing it on uh, my part um, just to make sure any frizzy parts that kind of popped up throughout the night on that part are handled by the Eco Styler. You see I didn't use a lot. We're also gonna use um, a few spritzes of water and oil just to make sure that our hair is moisturized throughout the day. You see here that I'm spritzing my hair but I'm not soaking my hair. Um, so I'm really only doing a few and that's intentional. I don't want my hair to uh, shrink up and do weird stuff. <laughs> so just a little bit of water and I clearly don't know which way the oil goes, but a little oil. And also don't drop your oil on the ground like I did. <laughs> but we're just gonna kind of massage that throughout the hair. Again, very gently. We don't wanna create added extra frizz for no reason, but just kind of massaging the ends especially. Um, my hair retains oil pretty well, um, almost too much sometimes, so I didn't use a lot, but just enough to help me um, kind of finger through those curls and get it exactly how I want it. So you'll see me here just kind of fluffing and doing the most. <laughs> Probably could have been done five minutes ago, but you know, I'm, I'm extra, as if it's gonna stay like that all day. <laughs> that's all I've got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed my nighttime and morning time routine. This one actually came out really great. I didn't have to like really refresh my curls at all. I probably will around like day three, day four. 
whatever. Um, but I'll do a whole separate video showing you guys how I revive my curls after they've been smashed and disgusted in my sleep. So if you haven't already, please make sure before you leave to subscribe so that you can see all of my other fun videos. Make sure you leave me a like and let me know that you enjoyed this, if this was helpful, any tips for the next video, if you think that there was something else I could have done, um, and leave me a comment. Let me know if you tried this. And I'm off to my practicum. I'm about to be late. So I will see you guys in the next video.